Vector Marketing from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia. www.wikipedia.org Vector Marketing is the domestic sales arm of Cutco Corporation, an Olean, New York-based cutlery manufacturer. History Both Vector Marketing Corporation and Cutco Cutlery Corporation are wholly owned subsidiaries of Cutco Corporation. Formerly known as Alcas Corporation, the company was created as a joint venture between Alcoa and Case Cutlery. The factory in Olean, New York was completed in 1949 and the first set of Cutco Cutlery was shipped to New Kensington, Pennsylvania that same year. Alcoa purchased Case's share of the company in 1972. In 1982, members of management purchased the company from Alcoa in a management buyout. The company remains privately held today and is a major employer in Categorist County, New York. Vector began as an independent distributor of Cutlow Cutlery in 1981. Then Vector was purchased by Alcas Corporation in 1985. In 2009, Alcas changed its name to Cutcor Corporation. Vector Marketing then expanded into Canada in 1990. Business Model Vector Marketing is both a multi-level marketing and direct sales group that builds its workforce through advertising via newspapers, direct marketing, word of mouth posted advertisements, letters, and various mediums on the internet. Their flyers advertising student work are a common sight in many high schools and college campuses across the United States and Canada. Students are hired to sell Cutco products, mainly kitchen knives, to customers. Typically, their fr friends and family members via one-on-one -on -one demonstrations. Controversy and Criticism Some of Vector Marketing's independent contractors have accused Vector Marketing of unsavory business practices. Vector frequently advertises in newspapers and on flyers posted on bulletin boards at college campuses, but seldom do those advertisements explain the nature of the job. Vector marketing used to require sales representatives to make a security deposit of approximately 139 United States dollars in order to procure a set of knives for demonstrations, prompting some to complain about this policy, even when the deposit was refundable if a representative chose to quit or the contract was terminated and the sample kit was returned. Vector now provides the demo kit for free. The sample kit must be returned if the representative concludes work with Vector. Students who work for Vector Marketing are considered independent contractors and are not reimbursed by the company for money that they spend on transportation expenses and other common business expenses while working for the time they spend at training sessions. In the 2008 case Vector Marketing Corporation versus New Hampshire Department of Revenue Administration, the Supreme Court of New Hampshire ruled that Vector employees are independent contractors and Vector is thus exempt from the state business profit tax. Vector was sued in 1990 by the Arizona Attorney General and in 1999 by the Australian Competition and Consumer Commission. In 1994, Wisconsin ordered Vector to stop providing dishonest information to recruits. Arizona and Vector agreed to a settlement that punctuated a series of state actions against Vector's Tuscans manager that spanned seven years. Vector agreed not to represent its compensation system as part of the settlement. Vector no longer recruits in the U.S. state of Wisconsin. In 1996, the Washington Post reported that 940 Vector recruits surveyed nearly half either earned no money or actually lost money through working through the company. A recruit who was successful in a lawsuit against Vector for failing to adhere to labor laws in New York co-founded a group, Students Against Vector Exploitation. In 2008, Alicia Harris filed a federal class action lawsuit against Vector. Harris alleged that Vector violated California and federal labor law by failing to pay adequate wages and illegally coercing employees into patronizing the company. In the case, Harris v. Vector Marketing Corporation is pending a final settlement approval for a 13 million United States dollars before Judge Edward M. Chan.